What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, After Sound here, bringing you Splinter Lens content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. All right, guys, another season in the books, and uh, I want to take a look once again at where we are from a print rate perspective, and I, I think the data that we'll present here is going to be overwhelmingly in favor of the fact that there has been a massive slowdown in the amount of BCX printed. Now, there's a lot of people with tinfoil hats thinking that the team has slowed this down. They have not said anything. So I, I believe them that they didn't touch or tweak the thing. They, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't do that. <laughs> Let me put it this way. They wouldn't do that without, uh, they wouldn't do that without letting the community know. I think that would be something that's, like if you're gonna make that claim out there, right, with your tinfoil hat, you probably should try to back it up with some data. And I'm, I'm guessing people are gonna look at this data and say, well, here it is, right? Like, look at the slowdown. But I would argue, and I'll save this maybe for another video if people want it, if just look at the, just look at the player data, look at the battle data. Between now, or between January, when this first started, end of January, and where we are now, the amount of players is down significantly. The amount of battles per day is down significantly. And if there was something tracking how many chests were being opened, I would argue that that number is probably going to be down significantly. But if anybody has access to that or knows where we can find the amount of chests that are actually opened, or actually not even open, but just the amount of chests that have been earned, I, I would make the argument that that has, has come down dramatically. So with that being said, uh, we're in an interesting position now because the numbers are reflecting something much more reasonable, in my opinion. And so let's actually jump into the numbers here. I'm going to bring my calculator out. And uh, first thing we're going to do, we're 2.5 months, right? Because we're not quite at three months. We're not quite at 25% of a year, right? Or a quarter of a year. So we're at 2.5 months out of 12. So I I'm just going to say we're roughly 21% of the way through the year that I'm expecting these cards to be in print, right? Uh, Matt did say that these cards will probably be in print for one to two years. I'm leaning towards one year because if we do get Rebellion by the end of the year, I think people will be itching for Rebellion reward cards early next year. And so one year of print sounds pretty reasonable to me. Let's go ahead and see. I'm, I'm just going to round this up to 21%. So let's start with the comments because these are, these are going to be the most egregious, right? These print like crazy. And so if we take a look, uh, I'm just looking at this and saying, yeah, one point, we'll just say 1.3, 1.31 million, right? Just to be on the safe side. So uh, on average, so you divide this now by 0.21. Um, and where we're looking to be again, but this is also taking the skewed average from earlier in the year where we're looking to be now is only 6.2 million BCX printed. And I say only 6.2 million because this is now significantly less than the 8 million printed for the Pelicor class, right? Uh, Pelicor bandit, mercenary, conjurer. So we're, we're coming down to like almost 75% of that amount, which I, I think is is pretty good. So um, and and keep in mind the commons were the only ones that were printed fully, right? All, everything else was was not even close. So let's we're gonna jump straight to the legendaries now because everything else is just on the spectrum that leads towards commons being the most and legendaries being printed the least. Uh, so if we go here, we can see what uh, we'll just say thirteen five, right? So thirteen thousand five hundred BCX printed divided by 0 0.21, and we're looking at sixty four thousand. Which which is pretty good. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna give some context for that. We if, if we go to the rewards cards previously, I want to look at your Jin O'Shaughness, Harkla, and Jin Bilchka class because this is the one that you know these these were long running and they had a total BCX printed of 138,000. So we are at the point where in a year's time, right from when this started, we are trending to print less than half of these. Now you compare it with the Jared Scar. Uh, Venator Kinjo, Countess Sinesh class, and we're going to print, you know, uh, about 50% more than that, right? It's, these are all at about 40,000. We're looking to print about 64K, although I will make the argument now that because we've seen a massive slowdown, if we continue with this way and no new players come in, no new accounts are set up, um, we're, we're probably going to see this number trickle down slow, like, again, like, the effect is going to be diminished over time, right? As, as we get more towards the average, but ultimately what's going to end up happening is we'll probably stay close to maybe the 60,000 range would be my guess. Now, all of this can be thrown out the window if we do hit a boom, if the player base grows. I know there's been a lot of talk about how many real players are, are in the game. There's been some awesome content creators out there who have tried to, to look at the data. Uh, I'm looking at you, Tails, right? So look, look at the data and, and figure out how many players are in the game. Let me just say this, uh, without, without, focusing on any specific number. 
if the if the player base is actually as small as some as some of us are expecting it to be, then it doesn't really take a lot of new players coming in to make huge impacts on the game economy. So, you know, ultimately, I it, it makes me bullish and I'm not trying to be bullish just to be bullish, but it's just like, OK, the smaller the game is right, the smaller the actual number of players are. That means every individual who comes in and who buys into uh, not not financially, but just buys into the idea of what Splinterlands is can make any uh, ma- make a huge impact on the game economy, right? Whether they're bringing just ten bucks for the spellbook or whether they're bringing ten thousand dollars to buy nodes and land and all this stuff, right? Uh, whatever it is, people coming in with a, with a number this small, people coming in will be able to make a larger impact, and so. Um, you know, again, I, I don't want to throw any numbers out there. We'll see. We'll see if uh, we can dig into further data. But overall, I, I, I'm kind of excited, guys. <laughs> I'm kind of excited about uh, about where this is going now because these cards. I was very worried about the print rates early on, um, but I think we've seen just a lot of the a lot of the bot farms hopefully shut down, uh, and now you know it's just it's just real people and their and their alt accounts, and hopefully we'll see that player base grow over time more organically, and then maybe if there's some random pump uh, and Bitcoin does its thing over the summer, we'll see what ends up happening with uh, with crypto in general. But that is all I have for you guys in this video. Just wanted to share that we are continuing to trend downwards on this. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to take that as, as pretty good news. And um, ultimately, what it's going to do is make these cards much more scarce. And you, if you're playing right now and you're watching this video close to the date of its release, you are taking advantage of the fact that you are getting these cards for free and are able to level them up and, uh, and, and, and use them because at some point in the future, they will not be there and they may be printed less, right? Or at least they are trending towards being printed less than some of the cards in previous reward sets, right? So I'm looking at you, Jin O'Shaughness. I'm looking at you, Pelicor Conjurer. So that is all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.